This is a book called Palladis Tamia by Francis Mears, Master of Arts of both universities. In it, he talks about playwrights, contemporary playwrights. This book is published in 1598. And it's pretty clear from this book that he thinks the most exciting and most interesting and the best playwright living in his day is William Shakespeare. He mentions him nine times and he names 12 of his plays. Among a list here, you can see of the best playwrights for comedy. He lists 17 playwrights, starting with the Earl of Oxford and ending with Henry Chettle. On another list, he lists the best playwrights for tragedy. He names 12 playwrights, starting with Lord Buckhurst and ending with Benjamin Johnson. Now, if you take from those two lists the 22 contemporary playwrights who we know to have been active in the London theatre scene in the decade before Mears published his book, i.e. from 1588 to 1598, and look in the contemporary records to see who knew whom or who was connected to whom, you find that Kidd knew Marlowe, Marlowe is connected to Peel, to Nash, to Lodge, Green knew Lily, Lily knew Oxford, Oxford knew Nash, and Nash knew Wilson, who knew Drayton, who knew Chettle, who knew Anthony Mundy, who knew Richard Hathaway, who knew Deck, who knew Johnson, who knew a hell of a lot of different playwrights, as indeed did Drayton, and uh, Decker, and Lily, and Watson, and you begin to see here it's all going way out of control because everybody seemed to know absolutely everybody else in a badinage of poets except, ah, uh, Number five, William Shakespeare. There is no contemporary record linking William Shakespeare to any one of these playwrights during his lifetime, and yet he is the most famous playwright of his day. It is almost as if there were no playwright called William Shakespeare at the time.